Uh, Michael Van Gerwen leading 4 1, averaging 119, 3 1 1 177, two tough plus finishes, yeah. four out of five on the doubles. I can come up for breath now. That's how good it's been. Yes, you have to remember that first leg, it wasn't oh, a particularly good leg from either five. player, was it? No. Just shows you what it's been like since then. And Wade won it. Yeah. You've not got a look in since. 57. Yes, absolute quality since then from the world number one. 140. He's, he's got to have a new dart sponsor and he changed his darts ahead of the uh, Premier League in Exeter on Thursday. And despite it not going that well, he's absolutely convinced that that these darts are going to deliver him the titles that 56. he craves in 2020. Well, it's one of those strange ones, isn't it? You know, he's he's obviously playing well, but when you change your equipment, that just small percentage of that mental block can make a difference. As Van Gerwen, while well, he was looking for the 170, I'm sure they're going for it as well. The way things have been going. It has to be that mental side of the game. So if he's determined to stick with, with that, yeah, that's awesome. you know that that's the I best way to do it. Well, once he starts believing that, that these are the darts that he's going to win with, then yeah, watch out. Sublang, Marco Van Gaal. is James at very first game. On. Five legs on the spin. Still averaging 117. 100. He's got that determined look about him, Stuart, for me. 140. Not much celebrating there, he's just concentrating, focused. Yeah, just a little movement at the end of the throw there from James Wade. 100. It's a great shot, that. Let's see, uh, let's see what Michael Van Gerwen looks from side on. Very little movement at all, isn't there? Yeah, 140. Just to follow through the extended follow through of the throwing arm. Just a wiggle of the of the right leg. Six. Yeah, it's great to see the angle sometimes of the players are all just some kind of slight difference, some idiosyncrasies that just a little bit different than everybody else. Absolutely. Here's another one you feel. For one's a tall I order. Well, he's fighting eight. away, but he's up against a barrage of high scoring at the moment, and his finishing has been pretty impeccable. 98. He's been left with visits like this that he has to take out. Yeah, absolutely. Has to go. Has to go, James Wade. Has to go, James Wade. What a shot this would be. Oh, oh, well, take a bow. Take a if bow Michael because reverse. Michael Van Gerwen was sat on tops there to make it 6 1, and absolutely, without a doubt, it would have been game over because it would have been three breaks of throw. Fantastic shot from James Wade, and that will fill him with immense confidence and belief. And well, look at this, tells you everything. Yes, outstanding finish there. He needed it, he knew he needed it, and he took it. Marvellous. 100. Can he take that confidence forward? Well, he started with a 1 2 5. 100 and second visit. Amazing what a bit of confidence he can do, Alan. And, yeah. You know, we, we talked about Mencius Sulevich taking out that 1 6 1. He's got it back to 7 5 now against Jamie Hughes. And just one big finish can make all the difference, doesn't it? You know, Wade looked down and out. And it just looked that it was going to be a, a routine win for Michael Van Gerwen, but that 1 4 1 may well have changed things because Wade here has a great chance to, to break the 96. Van Gerwen throw. Yeah, sometimes a timing as well, isn't it? Especially when your opponent's on a double, it hurts just that little bit more. Maybe the trouble in double 19 no, there, so another chance for James Wade. And then it becomes a different game. It could have been 6-1, it could have been 7-1. Got 
got to go, got to go, last start in hand. No score. Well, well, I well. Uh, 16. I think James is as puzzled as we all are. And that's There's punishment. That is tungsten that is punishment. punishment. Get down King. by the world number one. Yes, that will hurt James because he dug out that opportunity after to get that 1 4 1 in the previous leg. Started scoring heavily there. 97. Left his favourite double top, which he's normally very proficient at. And, well, the first two darts were quite a long way off. 60. Just made that last dart a little bit harder. Couldn't take it. Van Gerwen stepped in. Maintains that four leg advantage. They're the legs oh, that you lose fine. that really, really, really hurt. Well, it's a completely different game. 6 2, 5 3, and you've just won the last two. And one against the throw, and then you throw in to get even closer. But that's been diminished now. Just didn't take the chance. Well, Michael, of course, would love to win this title again for the first time since 2016, but he's also very much 86. got family business on his mind. His wife Daphne is expecting their second child uh, any day now, in the next week or so. Six. Still averaging 111, Michael Van Gerwen. Yes, he hasn't got his standard drop. Not too All much anyway. I do 126. Now for the 19s. Trouble will lead the ball. Not quite. 58. Change to require 90. Stay there, the ball. The ball! The ball it is! Change way. And then get Michael to throw first. Game on. Hanging in there. Yeah, absolutely hanging on in there. 99. Mm. Hasn't yet broken the Van Gerwen throw. You feel that this is the time that Wade needs to do it. Should have done it in the eighth leg. Those three missed darts at tops. Well, it's a good thing for him, for his point of view, that he hasn't let that get to him. He's gone on to the next leg. And sometimes that can prey on your mind, certainly in a situation like this. 30 but, points between yeah, them in the that's averages, a lot. Right. That's a lot. Got to make inroads into that. 140. There's more of that, James. Yeah, loves a 170, Michael Van Gerwen. He's already had one in this tournament. Leaves it so often, doesn't he? 60. And it's very rarely, depending on the situation, obviously, but he quite often goes for it, even if his opponent's not on a double. 56. James Wade, of course, two times winner of the UK Open. 2008, 2011. And this is Mawson and Newton. 100. I do 114. It's strange that his best since that 2011 win has only been the last 16. Tops. Yeah. Well, he's not missing that top, is he? That's a third top plus finish for Michael Van Gerwen. She takes a 7 3 lead. But that was absolutely sensational yet again from Michael Van Gerwen. James Wade had a little sniff during that second session as it had been snubbed out by Van Gerwen who leads 7-3.